Hi, I'm Craig with Iconics Imaging, and we're here at the Awards and Custom Gift Show in Indianapolis showing our Rapid Mask No Washout Photo Resist Film and our Crystal Blast Sand Blasting Cabinet. I'll get the process started by showing you how you actually expose a piece of Rapid Mask Photo Resist Film. The process starts by creating an image in either CorelDRAW, Adobe Photoshop, or in a graphics program that fits your needs. Uh, you then want to output to a regular inkjet printer or laser printer, and today we have a piece of artwork that was outputted on our AccuArt 3 inkjet material through a standard inkjet printer. Uh, you notice that it's very dark and very dense printout, and that is very important to transfer the image properly because our rapid mask is a light sensitive material. The rapid mask, uh, to properly expose it, you want to find what we call the emulsion side of the film. And today, uh, this is our emulsion side of the film. To expose it, you want to place the printed side of the artwork against the emulsion side of our rapid mask material. Now to properly transfer it, we're going to use an ultraviolet light such as we have here. And to transfer the image correctly, you want to make sure you place your artwork down first and your artwork material on top of that so that the light passes through and hits the rapid mask material. We'll expose it for a predetermined amount of time and we will apply our finished piece, which you can see here. Everywhere that's blue, the light has hit and has actually turned this material brittle and everywhere that is this light green is rubbery and the ab abrasive will uh, bounce off that and not engrave into your piece that you'll be working with. Now to apply this down, I'm going to use a piece of tape to remove the slip sheet and now this is just like a decal that I can apply onto my piece. Uh, it has the adhesive already attached. I will stick it on and then try to eliminate all the air bubbles as much as possible. Use my squeegee to eliminate the air bubbles and I will remove my carrier sheet by using a piece of tape. So remove my carrier sheet. Now the next step is to actually go over to the sandblaster and sandblast engrave this. We'll use our crystal blast machine to permanently transfer the image. And you want to point your nozzle about four to five inches away and you want to move it back and forth into a smooth sweeping motion. And you'll see that all the areas that turn from blue to white are the areas that are actually engraving into the glass permanently to transfer that image. And the longer you concentrate on an area, the deeper you're going to eventually carve as well. Once we have this sandblaster, we can remove it from the sandblast cabinet. And the best way to remove this would be to actually soak this in hot water since it has a water-soluble adhesive. For today's purposes, we'll skip that step and we'll show you a finished piece of what the sandblast engraved area will look like. Rapid mask, expose, apply, blast, it's that easy.